In this lesson, you will learn how to calculate the mean of group data from a frequency distribution table. The table shows the scores of students in a statistics test. The first column lists class intervals, which represent score ranges. For example, the first class represents students who scored between 50 and 59. The second column lists the frequency, which tells us how many students scored in each interval. For instance, in the 50 to 59 interval, the frequency is 6. This means six students scored between 50 and 59. The mean of group data is calculated using this formula. Here, x is the midpoint of each class interval, and that is the first thing we need to calculate. The midpoint of a class is the average of its lower and upper limits. In the first class, the lower limit is 50 and the upper limit is 59. Adding them gives us 109, and dividing by two, we get 54.5. That's the midpoint of the first class. Similarly, the midpoint of the second class is going to be 60 plus 69 divided by 2, which equals 64.5. Repeat this process for the remaining classes. Next, multiply each midpoint by the corresponding frequency. For the first class, 6 times 54.5 equals 327. For the second class, 10 times 64.5 equals 645. Do the same for the remaining classes. Now add up all the products of midpoint and frequency. When we sum these values, we get 2,980. Next, add up all the frequencies, that is the total number of students. When we sum these values, we get 40. Finally, divide the sum of the products by the total frequency. This gives us a mean test score of 74.5. Keep in mind that the mean here is an estimate. This is because we don't know each student's exact score. We only know the score ranges and how many students fall into each range. So, we use the midpoint of each range to represent the scores and calculate the mean based on that. That means it is not an exact average, but an estimated one. To recap, here's the formula to calculate the mean of grouped data along with what each variable means. Here's a quick summary of the steps you need to follow. And finally, a practice problem for you to try on your own. Pause the video, give it a shot, then check your solution. But wait, to learn how to find the median and mode of grouped data, click on the videos on the screen. You'll also find the links in the description or in the first comment below.